this is Sandy from Scrapbooks Blessings Club and I figure for my video today I'd actually show you my face to go along with my voice so to say hi so hi I have exciting news um, I as have been asked to be on the Sherry Baldy's my besties YouTube design team so that is head uh, headed up by Jen Ever, so I'm ecstatic for that. So I can't wait to show you a couple of videos and tutorials featuring my besties. Um, so I figure for the first one, I give you a look at my craft space, AKA family room. <laughs> so yes, I do craft down here in the family room. I have this corner, uh, that's mine. Behind me right here is all my craft supplies I have in these cute little um, cubes. And so I have a whole bunch of those. Um, oh, what else do I have? I have all my paper and my dies. And then around me, all the way around and down, is a computer desk that I went ahead and I switched out. And I have totes and I have everything organized all the way around for anything that I need for crafting. So this is mommy's spot. The kids keep it. They stay away sometimes <laughs> and occasionally I'll find a marker or scissors left out on the desk and I know that they got here <laughs> but I figure for like I said for this first video I would say hi and show you my space and um, so hi <laughs> okay so let me um, get the card that we're gonna do I wanted to do something really easy for my first video just kind of ease into it I have it over here this is a card that I did uh, using a my besties image let me pull it so it, well, let's see here can we get it there turn it so you can see i did this for my daughter for her birthday and as you can see it is an easel card and these are perfect card fold to show off your besties images so when it lays flat it's going to look like that and then when you pop it up it's going to look like that Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on how to make an easy easel card. Okay, I'm going to grab what I need from my easel card. First, I have my image already done. It's the My Besties I have right here. Um, I went ahead and I colored her using both Spectre Noir markers, alcohol ink, and Prismacolor pencils. So that's how she looks. And then I went ahead and using a Spellbinders die, I cut, um, embossed the frame and colored it with some gelatos. Embossed the inside, just kind of outlined in gold. So I got my image all ready to go. I just love her. I think she is the cutest. Couple other things I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use her. I'm gonna use these um, perfectly pleated strips of paper. <laughs> This is from um, Basil Basics Paper. So it's already done for me. It has the um, stitch line through and it's already pleated. So I'm gonna use um, this light pink. I have a couple different flowers that I'm gonna use. Just picked up from the craft store. I had this cute little butterfly I thought maybe I put on there so I just like to grab a couple things leave on my desk and see how I feel when I decorate the card when I'm all done grabbing my paper there's a couple bases I have to pick from to use I was trying to figure out which one I, how big I wanted to make my card if you've never made an easel card they're very easy to do the one I usually do is this one here it measures starting at 5 by 10 this one here was another one that I was thinking about. This one is four and three quarters by uh, 12. And then this one here ended up being five by 12. So it doesn't matter as far as the width. It can be any width that you want. As you can see, you know, smaller, larger, that doesn't matter. What you wanna look for is the length. When you're doing an easel card, it is easy to do. Um, an even number as far as measurements. So you wanna make your card like uh, eight inches, 10 inches, 12 inches. It just makes it a lot easier when you're doing your scoring. So for this one, this is the one I'm gonna use. Um, this is five by 12. So I went ahead and I scored at six and I scored at three. 
This one here is the other size I usually do, and this one's five by 10, so what I did is score it at five and score it at two and a half. So you see, you just need two score marks, one in the middle, and then one in the middle on the one side. That's it. So you basically can make these without um, measuring if you wanted to. You just fold your cardstock in half, and then you take the top part and you fold that in half too. And there, done. I've done a lot of that just that way, just folding it. So let's put this off to the side. This is the one we're gonna use. Okay, so like you said, I did double-sided paper. This one has that cute little happy birthday. This is just um, a paper pack that I had, a miscellaneous paper. So like I said, it measures at five inches by 12, scored at six and at three. So when I fold it in half and I grab my little girl here, she's gonna fit right on the top. Then when I pop her up, She's gonna end up just like that. So what I need to do is I need to glue just this bottom half to the bottom piece right here. You don't wanna put any glue up here or you don't get the easel. So grabbing my adhesive, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue her down. How easy is that? You can't get any easier. And if you're starting out nude with car new with cards, this is the way to go. An easel card, it was my first card fold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this pink pleat. What you need for an easel card is you need something that's gonna help you stand it up so that you can display. And that's where this is gonna come in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom so that that'll help this top flap stay upright. So doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. I'm notorious for eyeballing, I apologize now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut that off and glue it down. I want to show the happy birthday, so there's one nice happy birthday right here in the middle, so I want to make sure I don't cover that. And then what I can do is I can always go ahead and right here do a little label die, and then that way I can write my little sentiment. Perfect. Okay, now all that I want to do is decorate the front. Like you see, I've already started my frame. I have my image colored. Now just the fun part of adding on my embellishments. So I think I'm going to do these cute little flowers. Maybe offset those little flowers there and take a little leaf. I love using these little ones. Something that looks like that. Something really cute and easy. I'll use my hot glue gun. I just found that it's just so easy with the hot glue to glue down the silk flowers. If you're going to use silk flowers or flowers that are um, a little heavier in texture, hot glue gun is the way to go. Trust me, less frustration. <laughs> so let's see. I think I wanted to use my little butterfly, so I'll definitely put my butterfly up. Do I want my butterfly? Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do my little butterfly down here. little hot glue there and now I want something for the middle the flower came with this cute little orange thing but I think I want to do something a little bit different okay I wanted to do something a little different so what I did is just grab this cute little um, embellished pearl it's flat on one end so it'll fit perfect which is a little bit of hot glue I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the middle of my flower and there is my easel card.
really easy to do. So that's what it is when it's flat. When you want to pop it up, you're just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right on the little ruffle pleat to hold it in place. And let me kind of tilt it so you can see. <laughs> tilt it with the camera so you can see a little better, maybe. I'll take a couple pictures of it. There you go. <laughs> we'll do a tilted version. Cute. I hope you like it. Like I said, this is just a really quick, easy, simple tutorial I wanted to do for my first one. I am so excited. So there you have it. My first My Betsy's YouTube video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a quick and easy one. Um, easel cards are awesome to do, awesome to get. I'll go ahead and put the link in the Etsy store, Sherry Baldi's Etsy store, where you can go ahead and get this image and, and many, many um, more. I would love if you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, bye-bye.